time of year, if you see a bird coming, you might think, is spring on the way? Not so fast. Bird migration is a complicated process, especially for robins. We live right at the, the northern edge of the robins year-round range. So uh, there are plenty that stay every year. There's plenty that leave. Whether or not they choose to do so all depends on food. They switch their diet from insects to, to berries and fruit in the wintertime. So if there's crabapple trees or uh, any, any sort of tree with berries, they're going to be going to that looking for food. And they don't do it alone. So we'll see flocks of robins that are searching for food. But that's different for the birds in the spring. In the springtime, they have a territory. They, they have a nest and they're defending resources and they'll chase other robins away. This time of year, they're just, they're just all going to food. And the more robins there are, the easier it is to find the food source. That's why many of you have been seeing groups of robins together. This isn't unusual. <laughs> this, the robins aren't unusual, the snow is. The lack of significant snow this year has allowed many people to see more of the birds. Kerr had a theory as to why. Maybe it's just, you know, with less snow, people are outside seeing more, and it's, it's easier for them to see them. If you're trying to spot a robin, putting food in your bird feeder won't help. Robins tend to stay away. You'll have to exercise patience and come across a little bit of luck. Migration's tough, and a lot of birds die migrating. Um, it's, it's a lot easier and safer to stay in one place if they have foods. In Java, Kaylee Went, News 4.